welcome everyone. We'd just be stretching this time, but congratulations everyone for doing your best. Um, we're almost, well, more than halfway through this boot camp. Uh, I guess we all need to stretch now. So let's start with a nice little adductor stretch in temple pose. Get your feet wide apart, bend your knees, press your elbows against the inside of your knee, stretching your adductors, hip opener, and then come into tabletop. Either get the arms stretched out to the sides or in front of you, working a little bit on your back muscle here. If your hamstrings are a little bit too tight from jumping and kicking, uh, you can of course always bend the knees when you get into tabletop position. Then our most favorite, we've been doing this a lot, but you can now relax into our stretch routine, open your feet wide, turn to your left, come into lunge position, and up to you if you want to be static now and really go deep into the stretch or keep it a little bit more bouncy and dynamic in order to maybe warm up the muscles. Then get your right hand down, open and twist towards the left side. Maybe you're doing this after your workout, then you can be a little bit more static. If you're doing just stretches, then be a little bit more dynamic to get your muscles warmed up. Then step closer together, forward fold, hamstring stretch, feet in V position. Maybe lift your toes. And then up to you if you want to do those push-ups. You can or cannot, if this is the only workout you're doing today, you might want to work your chest a bit. 10 push-ups on your knees, on your feet. Optional. You don't have to do this if you were set up for some just gentle stretching and didn't want to push yourself too hard today. Then turn forward, bend your left knee, stretch the right adductor, push the hips down. Make sure you're pushing your hips back and then squat on your left leg. Try to get the heel down, working on your ankle mobility. And then try the other side, bending the right knee, pushing the hips back and down. Really feel the adductor stretch. And then sit down all the way on your right leg. Make sure to lift the heel, getting deep into your hamstrings here. Hamstring stretches. I hope you all get a chance to work out or stretch at a lake one day. It really is the most beautiful location we're having. Then turn over to the right side, starting with high lunge. Getting those hips open, then bring the hips on the ground. Right arm flies up, twisting towards the right. Make sure to include your head in the rotation, just to release your neck a little. And then come parallel, forward fold. Feet a little closer, fold over, hamstring stretch on the right. And you know what's coming, so I invite you to do or not do it. If you need to warm up a bit for the stretches that are coming, feel free to do those mountain climbers. Else, you might just want to be in a down dog position and do some shoulder opening. Otherwise, 10 mountain climbers each side. Right foot comes back forward, twist to the front. And you can stay down on the floor, actually, because we are going deeper into some hamstring stretches. So sit down, anchor both of your sit bones in the ground. Then open your leg to a V, bend one leg, and then fold over your straight leg, flexing your foot, stretching those hamstrings, and then rotate and open over your bent knee, lift on the bent knee, and start to side stretch. You can do a little back bend here though, and then come back forward, stretch over your straight leg, 
and then swing open into a side bend or a little back bend, lifting on the bent knee. Now start exploring here. Make sure you really turn your navel towards the straight leg. And when you open into your side bend, push the hips forward, engaging the glutes a little bit. And now let's see how far you can round yourself, rounding over, stretching the hamstrings. And now let's see how far you can open, pushing the hips forward, side bending, back bending. At the same time, be gentle, be nice, be soft. Have a few more at your own speed, at your own tempo. Remember to use the breathing while stretching. Exhaling reduces our muscle tone. So when we exhale deeply, we allow our body to really stretch and release those muscle fibers. And then switch side. So make sure again to be anchoring both of your sit bones. So when you're stretching on your hamstring, on your straight leg here, both sit bones stay on the ground, stay anchored, flex the foot and then lift just a gentle side bend to start with while we warm up our spine here. Make sure to turn the navel towards the straight leg, flex the foot. Remember both sit bones, stay on the ground and then lift and open up. And go as far as you want into the side and the back bend. Push those hips forward, opening the hips. And then just do this at your own pace. Put some attention on the bent knee here. The knees opening to the side, opening the hip as much as possible. So you might need to contract the glute to pull the knee down a little bit and to allow yourself to stay anchored on that sit bone. Now remember the breathing, exhaling, reduces the tone of the muscles, allowing you to stretch a little deeper. It also calms yourself down. Getting deeper into each fiber of your body. Wonderful. Then let's get back up, side stretching. And this time we include our outer hips a little bit more. So you can either make fists or you can just open those hands and then side stretch, lifting the elbow above your head, tilting the head to the side, alternate left and right. And now take the same side leg, cross it back to create a C shape with your body. Now we've been doing a lot of side stretching on the ground but I would like you to focus now on your outer hip. We're working a lot on these side glutes with the side planks and also our roundhouse and side kicks. So they need a little bit of release. So push the leg behind as much as you can. Chest stretching, important for all our punches. Create a little bit of tension in our chest. So open those hands, shoulder height, palms are facing up. Now lower your shoulders, pull those shoulders away from your ears and pull those thumbs back as much as you can. Now create a little bit of tension between your shoulder blades. The rhomboids are pulling the shoulder blades together, then pull them down. And this increases the stretch, but also the letting go 
for your chest and your anterior deltoids. Release the head. Little wobbling in your head allows the neck to free up. Bicep stretch. Now start with the right side, put your right palm forward, shoulder height or a little bit lower, and then stretch the arm forward, slightly contracting your triceps. Be gentle, you can completely extend your elbow, there's no weight on the joint. And then change side, grab your left palm, push it forward, shoulder height, extend the arm, contracting the triceps slightly. Now make sure both shoulders are descending, lowering, pulling away from the ears. And release those arms, shake them out a little bit if you want to. Then let's get into tricep stretch. And this is also a shoulder opener. So place your right hand first in between your shoulder blades. This can already be enough, or you might want to grab your right elbow with your left hand to push your right hand a little bit lower between your shoulder blades. Make sure you stand tall, lift the chest, lift the chin, lift the gaze. Draw the navel in a little bit to protect the back. And now work a little bit on the shoulder opening, side opening, leaning over to the left side. You might want to look to the left. And if you're feeling like it, cross the right leg back. A little bit more of side hip stretching. That does feel good. And change side, place the left hand between your shoulder blades. If you're feeling excited, you can cross the leg back straight away and go all the way into your side stretching. Or if you first want to find your perfect position, maybe adjusting neck position a bit, adjusting chest, lifting all the way. And then we're slowly side bending to the right. Gaze to the right. Once you found your position, cross the right, the left leg back behind, opening the whole side on your left. And then untie yourself, get yourself out of that stretch. Maybe shake it out, move as much as you want. We continue with the quad stretch grabbing your right ankle with your left with your right hand pushing the hips forward keeping both knees side by side now try the following bend the left knee a little bit push the hips further forward and then extend the left knee again going a little bit deeper into that quad stretch and release. Well done, other side. Great balance training as well. So grab your left heel, ankle, both knees side by side, lift the chest, don't fold forward, stand tall, and now push those hips forward again. You can try bend the right knee, push the hip forward a little more, and then extend the right knee. Perfect, let's do the other side, hamstring stretch, folding forward, both sides parallel this time. Bend both knees, fold forward, roll, and let your back, your spine hang from your hips, let your head hang. All these parallel stretches are great to even out our body, our spine. correct slight differences or even becoming aware of slight differences between left and right, not just in the hamstrings, but also in the back. So push your heels into the ground, lifting your sit bones up to the sky. Pull the navel in and now fold forward as much as you can, pulling your nose towards your knees.
fantastic. Then bend the knees, roll up. One more for the balance. One more standing and then we can lie down. So cross your right ankle on your left knee. Adjust the knee so you can really open the right hip. And now sit back and down as much as possible until you feel a slight pull, a slight stretch in your right butt cheek. Then if you want to work on your back a little, extend both arms overhead in a V-shape, pulling both thumbs backwards. Now we need to lift the chest and then we need to change other side. So cross the left ankle on the right knee. Adjust the knee position with your hands. You want to flex the left foot, then sit back and down into your stretch until you feel the slight pull in your butt cheek. And lift those arms again. You don't have to do a V-shape, you can also do a T-shape, keeping your palms up and your thumb still facing backwards. Just trying to work your shoulders as much as I can while I have the chance. Always get to open those shoulders and to engage the upper back. And hey, let's lie down. Cobra twist, cobra twist for opening the shoulders. Start with lying down in your belly, arms in a T position, palms facing down. Bend the right knee, twist the leg over to the left. Toes are touching the ground, knees up, pointing towards the sky. Until you feel a stretch in your interior, your front shoulder on the left. And come back to center, bend the left knee, twist over to the right. Till toes are touching the ground, knee pointing towards the sky. Front right shoulder will feel, might feel a little stretch here. Just a little, don't pull too much. Keep it gentle. And we're changing arm position now two more times. That's just optional, you don't have to. You can stay with the T-shape. Um, if you want to try a V-shape, so open the arms into a V. Again, bend the right knee, twist it over, toes touch the ground, knee lifts. And this allows you to stretch a bit more on your chest muscle, deep pectoral muscle. Stay gentle. You don't want to feel a, a very tight or strong pull. You want to feel a gentle extension in the shoulder. Come back to the middle, change legs. Lift the left leg, keep the arms in V. Turn the head, relax the head on the ground. And adjust your twist to feel a gentle pull in your right chest muscle now. And then we're having a last go in White Cobra, which is placing your arms outside of your shoulders, shoulder height, on your fingertips. This allows you to come up into a twisted cobra. So now bend the right knee again, then twist it over and push yourself up a little bit. So this is a bit of work in your arms, but keep it gentle, it's just the upper body pushing up. And then try the other side. It's a big chest stretch and a little bit of a bigger rotation that's, uh, that we allow to happen here. Make sure to turn the head. If you want to be a bit more passive, of course, you can stay on the ground. You don't need to do this cobra twist extension. Perfect. You can stay on the ground, simply turn around into sitting. Then sit, bending both knees, both feet placed in front of you on the ground. Then twist both knees over to the left side opening the right arm up and over, a little bit like we did before, but this time when both knees, lifting on both knees, 
which are bent and you can go as much as you want into that side or even into that back bend here. This is our last stretch, so I invite you to explore. This is a great start for all kinds of waves and twists and extensions. And I hope you enjoyed this stretch. Come back here anytime you need uh, to stretch or to release some of the tension we're creating in this boot camp. And I'll see you all for the next high intensity interval training. Bye.